Now let's talk about getting help, especially when we're working in SSMS or the SQL Server Management Studio, because it's a little different than what you might expect. So I'm just going to jump out to the SQL Server Management Studio. If you don't have this open, just open it up, connect to the database, and I just want to show you some of the things that you can expect to see when you're working in the Management Studio. There is a help option up here on the main menu bar, right? Well, when I click on that, I have a couple of options. There is a view help or a manage help settings. Well, the first thing I want you to know is if you just click on view help, you're going to get pointed to a help viewer. Now, it may ask you, do you want to view content online or locally on your computer? You may get that question or you may see this screen. I've seen it come up both ways. I'm not really sure what's making the difference. Okay. But this is obviously not SQL Server help. And we're going to talk about SQL Books Online and what's happened to it. It's no longer local, but we'll go into details on that in a separate video. But what I want to show you here is if I want to use help, what I can do is go down to the next option, which is Manage Help Settings. Now, if you go out to your menu and you click on Start and you go into your SQL Server folders and stuff, you will not see SQL Books Online out there. It's no longer installed with a product. And so what we're going to have to do is kind of help out our help settings here. So we're going to click on Manage Help Settings, and it's going to bring up either this screen or you might see something that looks like this, whether you want to use local help or you want online help. And if you tell it local help, you need to point it towards your help library. And again, we'll talk about this a little bit more in a separate video about SQL Books Online. But notice in this help library manager, I can choose online or local help. I can choose this. It'll take me to that same place there. It skip the online updates, but I can install content from online. And if I click this, notice it's going to go out and download all these various books from online content. And notice I can now choose what help content I would like to have in my help viewer. Notice .NET Framework. 354. This is all .NET development. And if I scroll down, you can see SharePoint. Then there's help on help for those people who need it. Patterns and practices, cloud development, desktop development, all those. Notice we can add those with the click of this hyperlink. Then notice SQL Server 2012. There is books online and we can add it to our machine here. There's developer reference and there's installation. Now, if I click to add this, it's about 200 megabytes, and so I won't click it here, but this is how you can install the books online onto your machine. Then I can scroll on down. You can see other things that I can get, but that's how you're going to get your help. You can also go out. I'm going to cancel this. You can also go out and download books online and have it on a disk and install the content from a disk. So if you're working on a machine that's not connected to the internet, not allowed to be connected to the internet. You can just simply go out, download books online, and then put it on a disk, put the disk in, and then click this, browse to the location of your help media, and that will load your books online. And you can also remove content. Now, what's nice about having it here is, notice I can check for updates online, and it will go out and automatically make sure that I have the latest. This is what Microsoft's trying to handle here with all these online help files and so forth. Because in the past, if you downloaded books online and you kept it on your machine three or four years, then you're getting way out of date because they're constantly updating that. You can go to Microsoft's TechNet site and see a complete latest version of books online, but that's not very convenient. So the way you set up your help is an individual choice you can install it from a disk. You can run it locally and install books online there, or you can run it from online, however you would like to do it. But just make sure you're doing it in a way that makes sense. So then when you go up here to help and then click view help, you will see what you're looking for because I'm going to point you quite a few times through the course here to books online. The best way to learn how to write Transact SQL and the best way to understand what's going on is out there in books online. So we'll be referring to that quite a bit. In a separate video entitled SQL Books Online, I'm going to go through setting this up locally because that's the way most people like it. It is a little bit faster. You're always sure of having your help files right there with you. And especially if you put this on a laptop the way I do so that you can put a copy of the database on your laptop and you can do some coding 
and some store procedure programming and stuff. It's great for that. So we'll talk about that in a separate video. But for now, just understand that help has gotten a little more complex inside this Visual Studio type interface, but the complexity is good. And what I really like about this is I can put whatever help files I want on here and I can learn a lot about a lot of different things. So that's kind of the lowdown on getting help.